Uh, when it comes to all-time top scorers in men's international soccer, Lionel Messi is now on 108 goals with those two goals against Guatemala on Friday, behind Cristiano Ronaldo on 130 and Ali Day on 109. So Lionel Messi starting in this warm-up fixture. Uh -huh. He's looking good for Argentina. Well, of course he is. And he said, or has said coming into this tournament, that he enjoys, still enjoys coming and playing with the national team, what it means to represent Argentina. And I think that's only a byproduct of the fact that they won the World Cup, but now the whole perspective has changed. Pressure off? Absolutely, I think the pressure is off. And so he comes into this environment not with the tension that he used to come with the national team. It's, it's now, yeah, we've won it. We've done it. We won Copa America. Last Copa America, we won the World Cup. And now this is one where there's everything to gain for me and everything to gain for the national team. And they're still in a honeymoon. And then that honeymoon period, Argentina are very, <laughs> very dangerous because Lionel Messi feeling good about himself and the rest of that group that still plays very well for Lionel Messi set up the stage for him. And now he's able to find the passes. He's able to find Lautaro Martinez and Julian Alvarez and Di Maria. He's his last tournament. There's a lot to like about Argentina coming into this tournament. Messi's approaching his 37th birthday. Yeah. You see him in the next major tournament for Argentina in the World Cup. Uh, it depends. Do I see him? I don't, uh, I don't think so. I honestly don't think. And, and hearing him... Finish it in the US? Uh, I'm, I'm hearing him talk coming into this tournament and kind of saying hey, things are coming to an end. Once you start thinking about things are coming to an end, it's because things are coming to an end. <laughs> and, uh, but he's the one, he has earned the right to make this decision. And whatever he chooses to do, whoever the manager is at the time, because Escaloni has said himself, I don't know if I'm sticking around. His decision depends on Lionel Messi's decision because he doesn't want to be the one that has to figure out Argentina post Lionel Messi. You're smiling, Frank, as Ale's talking about this messy situation. Yeah, because it's always tricky. I mean, if you say something bad, you will have all the Messi fans telling that you don't like Messi, so <laughs> you better be nice. And it's hard to make a comment, even if you think, like I, I think, and like Ali think, that if you feel that can be the end, it's because it's the end. So uh, now you can also put in a, in a, on the table the fact that he played on ML, in, in the MLS. So is it a pre-retirement sh uh, championship? Everybody can uh, decide that and uh, make a judgment about it. But if he still serve uh, Argentina the way that the fans want it and, uh, and, uh, and, um, and, uh, and the coach is happy with that, you know, fine by me. Uh, and um, I would never judge uh, him to stay for, uh, with Argentina. I think it's going to be hard to... Uh, to, um, to push him away and, and, uh, until he wants to, uh, to, uh, to, to go away by himself. So let's see how it works. And uh, good luck to Argentina. And we'll, let's see with uh, the bad so-called Brazil, according to Ronaldinho, how it works. <laughs> it depends how he sees it, OK, doesn't it, Messi? You know, Ronaldo might not start on this tournament. I think he will. But at 39, I wonder if Messi's thinking, probably not now, but he's thinking, you know, to finish in the, in the US in the World Cup. He's probably thinking that might be the dream scenario if I can get there, if the players can still carry him that far. Because he's still obviously got the talent. It's just whether he thinks as though there's a role for me either starting, but more so probably at 39, he's going to be an impact player off the bench. Would he settle for that? Would he settle for a, a role off the bench? Well, it's, it's honestly, at this point, we're talking about Lionel Messi, it's what he wants to do. Yeah. Whatever he wants mm. to do, he's going to do and he's going to be allowed to do. So, He's calling the shots. And so that's a great position to be in. But he's uh, the one that, that knows how much of a grind it is, the preparation for a World Cup, how much of a grind it is to actually be part of the tournament. And he, is he looking at it as a celebration, as a sort of a lifetime achievement award and just kind of being able to say goodbye to the game at the highest stage? Or is he saying, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, I've already won this, I've already won that, I've already won this. Yeah, do I really need this in my life? But only Lionel Messi can answer that question. We're just here speculating. Yep, that's the way things are looking <laughs> right now. And obviously the Copa America is coming off and we will be getting a closer look at Argentina. And